I don't I don't know maybe I'm using it wrong or being too forceful but I just I have a really hard time it was fine like going hey there and welcome back to another video here on moms of abundance this is the place for OG moms new moms soon-to-be moms and future mamas to create a life and business that they love so that they have freedom in their time and money for who and what matters the most if you are interested in creating a life that you love and a business that you love so that you can have time for your your little ones and for all of the other important people and things in your life make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can see how exactly to do that if you're new here welcome my name is Christina and I have been documenting my journey with starting my Etsy shop on this channel and today I am doing another video about my Etsy shop to actually show creating cash envelopes for the very first time Time. Now, I have created cash envelopes before, um, but they definitely weren't the type of cash envelopes that I'm looking to sell in my business. I actually have some of them here, which I'll show you in just a little bit. But what I'm doing, if you're not familiar, I am starting an Etsy shop that will be a cash envelope and sticker shop um, because I personally use cash envelopes in my budgeting system and I also use um, a lot of different art and creative work in my bullet journaling and I really want to just get into creating stickers to make my life a little bit easier as well as with my day-to-day -day planning. Um, and I just love to create so I figured if I'm creating stuff like this for myself this would be a perfect area for me to start my Etsy shop in as well. If you're also interested in starting an Etsy shop and particularly a cash envelopes or a sticker shop or planner shop, then definitely check out all of my other videos that I have done that I've talked about um, looking up the materials that I need and the cost of getting started and everything like that. I will leave the playlist for all of those videos down below so that you can check them out. And again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on future Etsy related videos that I do put out. I'll also be sharing my tips and just things that I learn along the way because I really do want to help inspire and, and, and if I could speak, I really do want to help inspire and encourage other moms to be able to start Etsy shops and other types of online business when I get a little bit more knowledgeable about that in the future in order to really create that life and business that you love so that you can transform your life and just live from a place of love and abundance. So if you are excited to watch me create some cash envelopes and share some tips on what I'm doing while I'm creating those cash envelopes in case you also want to get started with creating cash envelopes and starting a cash envelopes Etsy shop make sure that you go ahead and put a like on this video and now without further ado I really want to show you the cash envelopes that I have been using in my budgeting system and why it is that I'm super duper excited about getting started with creating pretty legit cash envelopes so that I can offer those to, you know, other folks who are working on developing their budgeting skills and also use them in my budgeting system as well. So these are the cash envelopes that I have been using. Um, I actually made these with uh, just some tape and some, uh, just some tape and some uh, construction paper. I don't know why I couldn't remember the word. Um, they're pretty cute. Like I, I really, really like these and they've lasted, um, you know, a, a bit of time, especially considering they're, you know, just uh, construction paper and um, tape. They've been able to last and hold up. These have definitely served me, um, you know, pretty well in terms of cash envelopes. And then I just wrote like what each of them are for on the actual construction paper before I put the tape on in a white gel pen. And um, you know, that's how it has the labels there. So this one's like, you know, for groceries. And then um, this next one's for, you know, my mom who I also support and um, spending, stuff like that. Um, these were really, you know, quick and easy to make. Um, and, you know, they work completely fine. So if you are interested in budgeting content and if you're interested in um, cash envelope style content, then um, definitely check out my budgeting channel that's Budgeting with Christina. I will leave the link for it down below. 
um, because if you're actually interested in like how to use cash envelopes and um, I'm actually going to also be posting a video over there about how to make these uh, cash envelopes with construction paper and packing tape. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely go and subscribe over on Budgeting with Christina. Um, that's also a fairly uh, you know new channel at the time of recording this video, but um, super exciting. And um, yeah, just go check it out if you're interested in seeing how I made that. But they definitely worked, um, you know, well enough. I am definitely excited though to be able to upgrade and to start creating these uh, envelopes for future customers. So I do want to show you um, what materials I have here right now before I get started. Um, so what I have, of course, I'm starting with this one, if you didn't see my Hobby Lobby cardstock haul, you wouldn't have seen that this is my absolute favorite one, um, like cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby because I'm a space nerd and I cannot wait to create some cash envelopes with this beautiful moon cardstock. Can you see that? It's so cute. So of course that is what I'm getting started with today to um, make some cash envelopes for myself um, so that I can, you know, get the hang of it with making it this way. And then I'm going to move on to like getting started with creating some um, additional sets that I can start taking pictures of and posting on my Etsy shop when it's time for launch. Um, I am planning on launching the cash envelope side of my Etsy shop on October 1st. So I really just have a couple more weeks left before it is launch day. So I'm definitely excited about that. So I have the cardstock here. I also have um, my Fiskars cutter um, that I also shared in my Amazon haul as well as we bought this together on um, my planning costs video. And then I also have my laminator which is kind of what my tripod is sitting on so I can't move that. And then I just have the laminating pouches. Both of those are Amazon basics and I will have all of this linked down below. Um, well, except for the cardstock since I got that from Hobby Lobby. I can try to find it online but I don't know if I'll be able to. But everything else that I did order from Amazon I will have it linked down below in case you want to check that out and also get similar materials for your Etsy shop. So now I'm ready. I want to get started with creating these cash envelopes. Let's get to it. So what I did, I just went through um, my Stargazer pack and I um, tore out, I think I have seven sheets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I do have seven sheets here um, of cardstock from the Stargazer pack. So what I'm going to do is um, now take a look and get these cut. So. I know that one side, of course, is going to be longer because it's an envelope um, and I want them to come out pretty much like the same in size as these. Um, so I know that this is, um, I think, six and a half if I remember correctly. Um, I think in a previous video I said I would do six, but that's not correct. That won't fit the money or it'll get all you know, built or, you know, crinkled up in there. So this 
um, we want it like this so that the money just fits nicely and it's very easy to get it in and out. So um, this is a six and a half and then by three inches, which is the perfect size, at least, you know, to me it is. Um, but that's what I'm going to go with. So I won't be able to get um, like four envelopes out of this one sheet, but I can get two envelopes out of this sheet and I do have a plan for uh, my scraps. So, um, you know, I'll definitely talk about that, um, you know, in later videos or in videos where, um, you know, I'm creating actual stock um, because I absolutely do plan on doing, um, you know, videos and vlogs of like when I'm actually packaging orders so that you guys can um, see those as well um, and just you know enjoy the process um, so I want to take a look at these and figure out which one which side is the best side for doing like lengthwise um, cuts on here some of them it doesn't really matter like this one um, if I'm doing lengthwise on this one, and you know what I mean by lengthwise is just like how I want the longer side to look. So if I bring back this other um, card, I mean envelope, then I need to decide if I like it going this way or if I like it going this way for the pattern. And I think for this one, what I really want to be able to capture is um, honestly like I wish I could just do it here in the middle but that would cause too much waste if I did it that way um, because that is actually super cute down the middle like that so I want to see how I can get more of like this in here and I definitely think it's going to be you know cutting it this way and yeah because that'll give me like one side that is really colorful and then another side that's starry and then on this one I would have one side that's really colorful and then another side that's really starry so I want to cut um, these ones uh, lengthwise this way so I'm gonna set this over here and then I'm gonna put this like this so that I remember how I want to cut it this one um, doesn't really matter because it's kind of the same either way you do it so I'm just gonna keep this one lengthwise this way this one again also like doesn't really matter as much it does look like on this one there's like a little bit more action going on on this side of the paper than on this side of the paper so I'm actually gonna cut it on this side so that means hmm, do I want to cut it on there 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 or there I'm gonna cut it from here to here um, because this one, it just has a little bit more action going on over here than it does over here. And I want to capture, like, more of that action on the envelope where it makes sense, um, as opposed to, uh, like, the planer, so that it really does look like space. So I'm going to put that like that. This one um, doesn't really matter as much as it does. So this one, I want it so that these uh, moons are upright so that if I'm you know fold this as an envelope I want these moons to not be like this because that wouldn't make a whole ton of sense so with this one I need to make sure that I cut it lengthwise so that the moons are in the right direction so that means keeping it like this this one definitely is um, not that big a deal. The only thing is that it has this big like nebula down here in the corner and I need to decide do I want to capture that in the envelope or do I want to keep it kind of more like synchronous and I think I'm going to keep it a little bit more synchronous and just cut it um, this way so that these are the envelopes on this side. This one um, this one would also be like cooler down the middle, but again, that'll cause too much waste. Um, so I'm going to go with it this way so that this is kind of on the, um, tip of the, well, no, that would be like on the tip of the envelope. Yeah, I think that that would be cute because this would end up being kind of like the edge of the envelope and then these would be the two individual ends and I think that that makes it almost the same, um, which would be really cool. Or I could do it this way and then they really would be essentially the same. I'll do it this way so that they can be, you know, almost uniform. 
Um, that's one of the things like with um, creating cash envelopes from cardstock, you're going to have envelopes that are going to be like not identical, but I think that this gives me an opportunity to get envelopes that are almost going to be like pretty close to identical from set to set. So I'm going to cut it this way so that I can have that similarity um, as opposed, even though like I really do want to cut it this way um, because I think it'll look, you know, cuter, but I'm going to do it this way. And, you know, I'm making sure to do it like that because um, I also want to, I'm going to have like extra envelopes like from this set that I can either give away, like I think I'm going to do it as a giveaway from this first set that I'm creating. Um, and I just need to figure out like how to, how to do that and, you know, what I'm going to do. So me and you will have a matching set of envelopes. What's up? That's so cool. <laughs> okay, so now I just need to do the moon one. And I think with the moons, I'm going to just go ahead and cut it this way since that's kind of the orientation of the paper anyway. They have these moons cutting off here and these up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it this way. All right, so now it is just time to go ahead and start cutting some paper. Now, here's the real challenge is that this doesn't actually measure past... Four inches or five inches or something. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I have to pull out this additional doohickey. There we go. There's like a ruler here. So hopefully that matches up decently well. Ooh, I'm a little bit nervous. This is gonna be so crazy. I'm making envelopes. Okay, so I freed up some storage space, and now I'm ready to get started with cutting um, this cardstock here so that I can turn it into envelopes. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with this one, and I'm going to measure this over to... I'm going to move some stuff here. I'm going to measure this first one over. Um, to six and a half inches, which is actually not very easy to find on here. Hmm, I think I might get a different one of these because how is it supposed to be exact if I don't know? Hold on. One, two, four, five, six, seven, okay. I just want to make sure that it comes out like exactly how I want it. So I guess this would be six and a half right here lining up on these lines. And then I just want to make sure everything is nice and straight. Okay. Here I go. What? I think I accidentally caught a piece already. This, ladies and gentlemen, well, mostly ladies, but this is why we are starting like this and making my own envelopes because I know I will most likely mess it up. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it and slide this across. Oh my gosh! Look, I just cut this and stuff. I think it's crooked though. Might be crooked. Does that look crooked to you guys? I don't know. I don't really feel like that's completely straight over here. Which is annoying if it isn't. Just comparing it to this box that I have here. Oh, no. Looks like it's pretty straight. I don't know. I guess my eyes are just crooked. No, it just it does feel like this end got wider here. So that means like that end on this envelope set would be narrower. Here's how we can test it. So, up here, we're looking good. Down here, it did taper off a bit. It'll still work. It's still, like, okay, but only barely, so that's not ideal. Okay. Well, that's my first one, and... 
I definitely messed that up a bit, but hopefully I get better at it. But I'm going to put this over here. I'm not going to waste it because, again, this is for me. And I will just give, you know, if I do do the giveaway, of course, you'll just get the side that is, you know, actually the width that it's supposed to be. But I definitely need to figure out. I don't know if I really like this cutter. Um, and remember, I had talked about, like, getting the guillotine cutter. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's not really the easiest thing to line it up with. So I might invest in a better one if I can find it. I might just go like to Hobby Lobby and look or Michael's to look or something like that. So now I want... Uh, let's see if I can line these up again. This is the half right here again. Yeah, it's just like not the easiest thing to use if I'm being honest, but we'll figure it out. This is at the half, I think, I hope, I pray. I'm going to try it this way and see if that keeps it from like oh, moving. And oh, Oh gosh, I think maybe I should do it from the other end. Crap, I think I broke it already. This thing is like actually really cheap. I would not recommend getting this one for cutting through cardstock. Okay, that works better with me standing. And it's much straighter. So I'm just going to do a quick check. Alright, that one came out better. Okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to go through the rest of these and, you know, get these all cut. I'm going to... to be able to finish cutting these remaining, uh, what is it, five sheets of paper. Hmm, look what happened. The little slicey thingy completely came off the, this thing, the ruler thing on the cutter. Let me just put this back here. Um, I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm using it wrong or being too forceful but I just I have a really hard time it was fine like going this way it was but then it was really hard to make it go this way and then it just didn't want to go back up this way and well well we see we see what happened here um so I think yeah, like this, I mean, it just, I don't know if it needs some WD-40. Oh, well, now it's kind of, no, it's not. It's just, it keeps getting stuck, and, like, that can't be right. It's, like, right here. Once it gets to this spot here, it just gets super-duper tight, and this probably isn't safe to do that. Like, up here is fine, but then it gets super tight right here. Like, these are, like, too wide apart, so it's trying to squeeze it together, and it just kind of gets stuck. So that's clearly not going to work because as you can imagine, like that would just give me jagged edges on my cardstock and that's, it's just a no. I mean, so I can keep this and, you know, use it for cutting things that are less than seven inches tall or wide, I guess. But, I mean, this is kind of, kind of nuts, but... Yeah, see, like it just it came right back off. So, <laughs> I'm going to see about getting a new cutter, one that works better. I might look into, I did say that I wanted to get the guillotine one. I'm just not comfortable 
with um, having that here because my um, my son uses this office too for doing e-learning right over there. I can see his desk from my desk. I mean, it's a small room, so of course I can. But um, I just don't want to have that in here. And um, I mean, I don't have as much storage as I would like in my apartment right now to store something, you know, big and guillotine like that. So I guess I'm going to, I'm going to think I'm going to maybe look on Amazon, but I will also try to run over to Michael's, I think is what I'm going to do and see if I can find something over there. The only problem is that kind of puts a little bit of a delay in being able to make my cash envelopes and start making inventory and give away a set of these awesome space cash envelopes. So um, I do know that the soonest that I'll probably be able to get to Michael's is on Friday night. Today is Wednesday as I'm recording this. So that's a couple of days from now. Not horrible. I'll just plan on making sure that I make envelopes this weekend. So Saturday night is probably when I will try to re-record this video and, um, you know, actually show finishing, you know, creating my very first set of cash envelopes. I am going to actually go ahead and post this though, because like, this is a part of the process. It's like testing things and seeing if they work and, you know, maybe it works for somebody else, but it doesn't work for you. I mean, I don't need to get rid of this. If I'm cutting something small, um, like maybe the scraps or something, again, like I said, as long as it's less than seven, um, you know, inches wide, it'll work. Um, so I'm going to keep it, um, but I just know that I need to get a better one to be able to create quality um, envelopes. I'm going to stop dealing with that. Um, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, I hope that you actually find this video to be insightful um, because I want my journey to be documented, you know, like rawly, completely authentic, and, you know, show like the setbacks and show, like I said, like some of the mistakes that I make and obviously I mistakenly thought that this would suit cutting all this cardstock, but I mean, you never know until you try and, um, you know, I just hope that one, I mean, like hopefully it makes you laugh too. Like I feel like we can all use a good laugh, so please laugh at me um, and my situation here and this whole thing that's going on. Like I don't even... I mean, at least it's cute. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to actually go ahead and post this video um, at some point, either today or tomorrow. And then just know that there is going to be a new video coming out that shows me actually finishing this. And hey, at least we got two slices or pieces, not slices, it's not pizza, but two pieces of cardstock, you know, that are formatted how we need them to be, right? That's four envelopes right there. Four. So, I mean, whatever. We'll count our blessings, right? Um, and then I just have, um, you know, these five more pieces of pages to cut. I would cut it with scissors. Like, I mean, I thought about just, you know, let me just cut it with scissors, but I don't cut very straight, like, especially for going across 12 whole inches. So I'm not even gonna do that. Like, I'd rather deal with this than actually try to cut straight for 12 whole inches because that ain't, that ain't gonna work out. So I am just gonna wait until I get a new cutter that I can use. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and for seeing my, well, issues with the process of getting started with creating cash envelopes. I can't wait to re-record the next video where I can actually complete the process of making these cash envelopes. I will see you in the next video. And again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on more future Etsy and just process related videos around Etsy, as well as some tips and tricks on how it is you can create that life and business that you absolutely love. And put a like on this video if you enjoyed my struggle with, you know, this Fiskars cutter here. You know, definitely put a like and 
give me a, a laughing face emoji in the comments if you want to. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry that I couldn't actually complete the process of creating these envelopes, but I look forward to getting back to you and showing you that really soon. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.